We're here today to do hypotenuse. And to do hypotenuse, which is the uh, right angle of uh... Hi, we're here today to do hypotenuse problems. Hypotenuse problems always involve a right triangle. Now, you're going to have two straight sides. Those are the legs. They're joined by the right angle. Opposite that is the hypotenuse. And that will always be the longest side. So remember this. You will either be given the hypotenuse, and in that case, you're going to subtract. Because if you have the hypotenuse, you have nowhere to go but down. Or you will have to find the hypotenuse. You have the two legs, the straight sides joined by that right angle. And in that case, it's the classic a squared plus b squared equals c squared formula, the Pythagorean theorem. But you don't have to remember that. Just remember how to use it and when you use it this way or in reverse if you're subtracting. to find a missing side. Over here, my two sides are 8 and 5, so I do 8 squared plus 5 squared equals c squared. That's 64 plus 25. That equals 89. And my final step, since this is the square of c, is I square root the answer. Now, you may not be done yet. You have to see if this radical could be simplified. I'll tell you now, 89 can. So that would be your final answer. If it could, you simplify it. Let's look at this one. It's 8 squared, because that's a hypotenuse. That's the longest side. Minus the one leg I have which is 4 squared equals the missing leg. And you'll always have two of the three elements to solve hypotenuse. That gives me 64 minus 16, and that equals 48. Again, I take the 48 and I square root it. And this time, I can break it down. I can simplify that radical. 48 in a radical can be simplified as 16 times 3. And that gives me the 4 on the outside, radical 3. So that would be this missing side here. This missing side would just be radical 89, because I can't simplify it. And that's how you do hypotenuse. Now, what I'd like you to do is try these two. And uh, you can get the answers on video part two under the same... How did you do on these? Here is... Uh, the answer for this one, am I adding or am I subtracting? Well, I'm missing the hypotenuse. I'm missing the longest side. So I'm adding 7 squared plus 2 squared equals c squared. That's 49 plus 4 equals 53. I square root my answer and 53 cannot be simplified, so I just leave it. Here I have the 10 and the 2. I have the hypotenuse, so this is going to be subtraction. I'm missing one of the sides. So c squared minus b squared equals a squared, which is 10 squared minus 2 squared equals a squared. 100 minus 4 equals 96. 
I take that 96 and I can simplify it because that is 16 times 6. And so the answer for your first one, this hypotenuse would be radical 53. And the second one, which is the side, would be uh, 4 radical 6, because the 16 comes out of the radical as 4, and the radical 6 stays in. That could be simplified. And that's how you do hypotenuse.